Today we're going to be running a KF 1035 all the way up to 900 CFM to show that it doesn't collapse even at the highest CFMs. Uh, once we get to that CFM, we'll put a plastic bag over it uh, and cover up a portion of it to see at what point it does collapse. This shows that our uh, filter, the KF 1035, is currently running with 900 CFM being pulled through it at this point in time. That's 900 CFM being pulled through this filter. Now we're gonna apply some plastic strips uh, to restrict the filter to a point to which we see if it'll collapse. We're gonna take out, we're gonna restrict half the filter at this point in time with plastic. So right now you see that we got half the filter covered the airflow is restricted and the filter has yet to collapse and that's with 600, that's with, I'm sorry, 900 CFM being pulled through the filter. Yeah, currently over half the filter is blocked off with a plastic bag. We're going to block off another uh, portion of that leaving basically just a small sliver of the filter uh, exposed and we'll see what happens when we do that. At this point in time, we've got, you know, 80% of the filter covered with a plastic bag. And the filter fleet is still straight, has yet to collapse. We're going to go ahead and apply a bag to almost the entire filter to see what happens then. All right, at this point, we're going to go ahead and cover the entire filter to see if it collapses at that point in time. So again, about 70, 80% of the filter is covered at this point in time. We're just going to, and, and, and no filter doesn't collapse. The bleach is not collapsed. I'm going, at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and cover the entire filter. We've got over 80% of it covered right now with a plastic bag, and the filter is yet to collapse while at the same time we're pulling 900 CFM through that filter. So uh, let's put the rest, of, let's cover the rest of the filter and see what happens at this point in time. So almost every part of the filter and you can hear the difference has been clogged at this point in time with the plastic bag. I'm going to cover up this last small point and uh, of filter and see what happens. Leaking around the edges a little bit, but still the filter is yet to collapse. We'll go ahead and try to seal off any area that we feel a little bit of airflow going through to see if that'll get it to collapse. You can definitely hear the difference in the machine. Still, there's a huge amount of pressure on this filter at this point in time, and the filter still has yet to collapse. You can tell the pressure is building in our air stand. Still nothing. Filters look intact. There we go. That's what it takes in order to collapse one of our filters.